Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of graphing on a coordinate plane. This is standard 5.8c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 11 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Thomas planting a seed, and he's measuring the height of the stem each week for four weeks. So all we have are two pieces of information. It says the stem grew one each, one inch in the first week, and then two inches each after the first week. So there's slightly different growth rates. Which graph best represents, but we've got no x and y coordinates. That's going to be extremely confusing. So what we need to do here is we need to go ahead and make our own table. So let's take a look at all of these x-axes here. We're going to start with our x-coordinate. And we're going to look at our y-coordinate. Our x-coordinate is always the week. So let's just put week right here. And then our y-coordinate looks like it's always the growth. So let's just put that there. And once we get our own x and y coordinates, that's going to make this just so much easier. So I'm noticing that nothing is starting at week 0. So we're not going to start at week 0. So it looks like the first week we're going to start is going to be first week, so week 1. It looks like all of these start at week 1. So what is our... Our clue here is that it grew one inch, and this growth is going to be not so much how much it grew, but like its total. So we're going to need to kind of keep track of the total growth, not just two, 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 two. So one inch in week one. So now we've got our first x and y coordinate, right? We've got one, one. Then we're just going to go week to week. So let's just go 2, go 3. Doesn't look well. Some of these go past 4. Let's go, let's go to 4, and then we'll see if any of these... Uh, looks like D goes all the way up to 7. But we'll see what we have here. So after the first week, we're going to have 2 inches each. So what we need to do is we need to do a little plus 2. And then we are going to get a 3. So in week 2, total is 3 inches of growth because it was 1 inch the first week and 2 inches for that second week. And then we're going to do another plus 2. And that's going to get us a 5. And then we're going to get another plus 2. And that's going to get us 7. If we need to continue, it would go. So now we've got our x and y coordinates. So let's just look at a... And C, and these are kind of out of order because I cut and split this image to make it a little bit more horizontal. Let's just take a look at these and let's see where we start with. How many of these have 1, 1? So A has got 1, 1. That's correct. You know, C doesn't even start with 1, 1. C starts with 2 inches of growth the first week. Clearly says we've got 1 inch of growth the first week. So C is out. B, again, has 1 inch or 2 inches of growth in the first week and it says we've got one inch in the first week so even even just that first xy coordinate one one is going to knock out b and c d is looking okay it's got one and one okay so let's look at this we've got week two three inches of growth so i'm looking for this right here x coordinate of two y coordinate of three so i've got there's my 2 on A, there's my 3, so looking good right there. Uh, oh, and looks like they flipped it. Look, on D, that's really 3, 2. They flipped it. So that is incorrect. So it's looking like A. Let's just check these last two. I've got 3, 5. There's my 3. There's my 5. Yes. And there's my 4, 7. Four, seven, yes, my answer is A.